this was the fight of the night and definitely a nominee for the fight of the year. Let's start off with the Jaime Magia Sergio Dervichenko fight. This fight didn't go like I thought it would. I thought Dervichenko would give a little resistance, but I thought the younger Magia would wear him down and stop him in the ninth or 10th round. Dervichenko showed he had a little kick left. Jaime Magia showed heart, but also Jaime Magia showed another thing. He has a lot to learn. I thought getting with Eric Chirible Morales, his defense would be better. His boxing ability would be better, but he didn't show any of that in this fight. And he, was, he got hurt a couple of times in this fight. And Durachenko is not a real 168 pounder. He's a middleweight. And I thought we were in for a huge upset going into the 12th round. But Jaime Bagheer pulled out the 12th round, got a knockdown, and he got the nod for the decision. Personally, I thought it was a draw. Some people thought Durachenko got robbed once again like the Triple G fight. But at the end of the day, my take from it is, Jaime Magia is still not ready, not ready for the big time. When you talk about Dimitri Bivol, Benavides, Canelo, he's not even in the same atmosphere as those fighters. Needs to tighten up on his defense. So for Jaime Magia, it's back to the drawing board. 25 years young, seven time world champion, two time lineal world champion, two divisional world champion. I mean, two Hall of Fame careers in one at just 25. You can't tell me I'm not great. You cannot tell me I'm not the double greatest since Muhammad Ali. I give credit what credit is due. Tiafimo Lopez Jr. put a master class performance against Josh Taylor. Totally and outclassed him. Had it closer than what I had it. I gave Josh Taylor maybe two or three rounds. Tiafimo was more focused, landed cleaner shots, was the hungrier fighter. And his father told us, I didn't want to believe him, but his father told us, we're gonna go in there and box Josh Taylor's ears off. And that's exactly what happened. And I give Josh Taylor credit for taking a loss like a man. You know, usually people make excuses up. Josh Taylor says no excuses. He was a better man tonight. Now, what is next for Tiafima Lopez? It's so many directions he could go. He could unify with Regis Pro Gray. He could unify with his friend, Roly Romero. After the fight, he did not say where he wanted to go. But before the fight, him and his dad had Javante Davis' name in their mouth. You know, to me, he I worked in boxing. You know, the way to beat Tank, you gotta box him. You gotta box him. You gotta be, you know, Tank is scared of the boxers. There's nothing that Tank could bring to the ring against no, the Tank that'll make you. No, Tank is a fucking monster, though. Okay. Tank is a monster. I respect Tank. He's got a powerful left hand. There's nothing that you could take away from Tank. That's why he's on top of the game. And, you know, he needs to face challenges. He needs to get a team out there that's, that pushes him to fight the real guys. You know what I'm saying? Before I, I, I talk about you for one second, do you think your son can and will stop Tank if they fight? Yes, 100%. Yes, 100%. This is an interview Tiafimo Lopez Sr. did before the Josh Taylor fight. He's saying the fighter to beat Javante Davis is a boxer, which he said his son is transformed back to as being a boxer. He said before his mistake was putting his son in there, just going for the knockout. Now he said his son is transformed back into a boxer, and he said he will be a big threat to Javante Davis. Not only a threat, he guaranteed that Tiafimo Lopez would stop Javante Davis. Because although Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson are good boxers, they don't have the punching power that Tiafimo had. And I say a lot of things about Javante Davis as far as resumes go, but one thing Tiafimo Sr. is missing, and he's also underrated, Javante Davis' boxing skills. Javante Davis can box. And he also has a high ring IQ. But if that's the fight they want next, and we know Mayweather does, but if the fight goes down, T. Fimo and his team better be prepared. Because if they made Ryan Garcia do a rehydration clause and made him do a catch weight, what are they gonna make T. Fimo do, who's a more dangerous fighter than Ryan Garcia? Regardless, it seems like the takeover is back. So if the fight is made. I don't think any boxing fan in the world is gonna be mad. I think it'll be a much more competitive fight. 
than Ryan Garcia because I think Tiafimo is a more complete fighter than Ryan Garcia, especially one we saw tonight. And I admit it, but I'm not alone. I did pick Taylor to win the fight, and I was happy I was wrong because we're going to get better fights out of it. So congrats to Tiafimo. The takeover is back. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.